welcome everybody to another video of Dead by Daylight. My name is Q Productions, and today we're using a really interesting build with Sword Merchant using perks that I really, really like, and then one perk that I never really used before. First thing is Thrilling Tremors. Thrilling Tremors is my favorite perk in the entire game, at least for Killer. I love this perk. What this perk does is when you pick up a survivor, all generators are not being worked on, are blocked by NZ for 15 seconds, and they are highlighted in white, but then this perk has a 6 second cooldown. This is a really good perk because basically we block gens and then we can go towards the gen that survivors are working on and stop them from working on that gen. We have score Truck Flutter Rage, another perk I really really like. When we hook a survivor with a score Truck, once they get unhooked, we can use the aura of all other survivors for 7 seconds. Really simple. Then we have Eruption, a perk I've actually never really used before because I don't really like using this perk for a reason that I'll explain while we're playing. What this perk does, if you, down a, if you kick a gen, it's highlighted in yellow. Once you die on a survivor, Every gen that you kick will automatically explode and lose 10% progress, and then if a survivor is on that gen, their aura is revealed for, I believe, 7 seconds, and then the perk has a 15 second cooldown. I could be wrong about that part, but that thing has a cooldown. But then we also have Scorcher Pain Rising, as we all know what that is. Then we have low power modes, so we can make our drones stay up longer, and we have brown or German to make all survivors oblivious. Let's get straight to the game so I can show you how great these perks are. Okay, playing on Raccoon City Police Station East Wing. The entity has blessed us with a godlike map. Because, as you know, with Store Merchant, this map is basically free. Kind of. But anyway, we're going to put a drone right here. It's a really weird location for our drone, by the way. But oh well, we'll put a drone right there, and we're going to put a drone over here. Sadly, we didn't get the spawn where the map actually puts a gen on the top floor and the bottom floor. But either way, this is actually a really good spot for a um, drone. We're gonna put a drone right here, and the second I put this drone up, I realize something. And nothing happened. And that's because of the fact that these survivors are nowhere near these gens. But except for this one, where we kick it, and then we added an eruption. Eruption will sit on that gen forever until we down a survivor. Then I use this drone, and I look, and like three different people are automatically being located by my drone. And then I look, and there's an ace right here who I just accidentally um, hit. So I knew I heard footsteps, but when I put my second drone down, I didn't see anyone, so I was really confused. Luckily for me, Ace went in a really bad spot, so I'm going to be able to down him. And for some reason, Gabriel Soma did not body block. I don't quite understand why. But then after that happened, we were able to use Eruption, and we can get that gym regressed even more. Luckily, Eruption and Dwayne Tremor is a really good combination because basically, we kick a gym with Eruption. Well, we kick a gym, Eruption appears. Then we down a survivor. Eruption explodes. Survivors most likely will get off that gen because eruption activated. And then we use stealing tremors to block said gen. And because the generators are blocked, no one can work on the gen for 16 seconds until eruption's over. This girl runs from my drone radius and she exposed. I don't know how that hit. By the way, I'm using the new scroll merchant skin. This skin looks amazing. And I'm so glad that one of my subscribers commented in my video and he said that this is a new skin coming out and it came out I did not know about the new skin until he said that if he did not say that I would have never found this skin thank you so much um but Swansy, I believe is your name this skin looks amazing and I definitely will be using it in future videos the only real problem I have with the skin is the uh, weapon and that's not really a problem it's more like I prefer the uh, buzzsaw but it's not because again the weapons bad or anything it's just I prefer the buzzsaw because of the sounds it makes but other than that let's get, talk more about the game so let's talk about eruption first first thing eruption I misread the perk what it does is once you kick a survivor I mean kick a gin it's highlighted yellow then once you down a survivor that gin explodes losing 10% of its progress automatically and then what it does is if a survivor was on that gen, you can see the aura of that survivor for 12 seconds. I thought it was a cooldown of 12 seconds, but no, it's a cooldown of 30 seconds, which is fine, because um, you don't want Eruption to be that strong. When Eruption first came out, it was one of the strongest perks, because what it did was, is not only did it, um, what's it called, do what it does now, it made survivors incapacitated, and what incapacitated is, it's a um, size condition where survivors literally can't do anything. They can't. I believe all they can do is heal, if I remember correctly. They, oh, not like, they can't even heal. I think all they can do is drop pallets and vault windows. But other than that, they can't do anything else, which is really strong. But it used to do that for about 12 seconds, and that was it. Also, you hear me talking a, a tiny bit slower. When someone in my comments says, I talk really fast, and they are correct. I do talk really fast. Um, I mean, it's because I'm so used to talking fast, like in real life. 
that I just do it all the time. This person is exposed, and I'm like, I bet they're gonna try and drop down here. So I'm gonna pretend like I'm going upstairs and wait for them to fall. Then once they fall, I'm going to ambush them and kill them. So I'm gonna check the radar, and then I look on the radar, and I see that they are going this way. So I'm trying to cut them off, and like I said, they fall. They fall on a different spot, thinking that I'm not gonna catch them, but in reality, I am still going to find you, because I'm just so used to playing on this map now. Like, this map is really, um, like bread and butter to me. It's just simple. Also, because we keep hooking people on score hooks, we have Pain Resonance activating, which lowers gens, and then we have Flood Rage activating, which is a really good perk. I believe Flood Rage is a really strong perk in general. I just kind of feel like it's kind of hard to use. But thanks to Flood Rage, we can see what the aura of all survivors are. So now we know the girl who unhooked is running probably over there with the guy she just unhooked. And then we see Ace right here. And we would we would find him anyway. But at the same exact time, we know that um he's here in the first place. Once they unhook the other girl too, we'll be able to find um her too. So right here, this pallet, I'm like, please don't stun me. But she luckily stuns me in a way. Because now I can break that pallet later on and I can use that to my advantage. They don't have a strong godlike pallet anymore. So I'm going to put a drone right here. Cause I want to try and get this girl exposed if I can. She's in a really bad spot and she's close to being exposed. But the girl is smart and realizes I'm trying to expose her and she's like, no. But sadly for her, I put the drone in a really good spot where there's no way she cannot be exposed. So now she's exposed, I know she's going to drop this pallet because if you don't, you're going to die. But for some reason, these survivors love not dropping pallets that are essential. And she thinks I'm not going to hit her just because of the fact that I she fakes the window. But no, I'm going to definitely hit you. And the hook right here. Now, sadly, this is not a score hook, so I'm not gonna get um, flooded rage value. But it doesn't really matter because honestly, as long as I get value out of the perk, I mean, as long as I hook her, I'm good. And because of doing tremors, I block every single one. And this is why I think doing tremors is one of the best um, perks for score merchant. And then throwing tremors plus a rapture is such a good combination too. Like kick a gen, it highlighted in yellow. If a was on that gen and you down someone, you see what they are. And most likely they're gonna get off the gen. And the gen the gen will lose 10%. That's really strong. Then throwing trim activates. So you have a gen that's regressing, losing 10 loses 10% and can't be used. And then if a survivor was on said gen, you can see the aura of them. Then you have Floods of Rage, another perk that lets you see the aura of gens. I mean the aura of survivors. And if you look on the left, we have almost hooked. Half of the hook progress is almost done. And we and they've only done one gen. It just kind of shows you how good this build is sometimes when you see survivors' auras. Being able to see the aura of the survivor is really strong. So this gen right here, I'm going to kick as well. I know for a fact they're on the gen to the right because I just saw Ace over there. But I don't go over there because I realize this girl's exposed and it makes more sense to try and down the girl's exposed. Then let them do one gen. That's kind of fine. I don't really care that much. As you can see, I was correct. She, He was over there. I knew it because honestly, why wouldn't you be there? I see um, Gabriel. But I'm trying to mind game this girl, and luckily for me, I mind game her correctly. I know I just hooked her, but honestly, you got exposed a second time. Why wouldn't I hook you a second time? It's just kind of like only right. But then I look, and a lot of people are in my drum radius. I'm really confused why, because you can't do gins, because all the gin the block thing could go in tremors. It's such a nice thing to see, by the way, when you see the um, when you just see uh the aura of white everywhere, and then you look, and every single gin you kick it just has a rupture on it. It's just so good. So I'm gonna put a drone over here, cause I know someone's up here, and I'm gonna be really, really <laughs> cheap. I'm gonna put a drone right here. I'm gonna pretend like I'm gone, but in reality, I'm gonna sit right here. I know Gabriel Soma's on that gen. I'm gonna wait for him to fall down when he's exposed. And look at this, he's gonna run into the drone radius. And the second he's exposed, I'm going to down him. It's a really strong strategy to do that, cause they have two options. They can either and the gen. Or they can fall down and then they're gonna most likely run to another drone and get exposed. So now he's on his death hook once we hook him again. And as a result, we're basically gonna be able to get two survivors out this game really fast. We have two survivors that are dead on hook immediately. And I love builds like this. I love builds that just like do a lot, but it seems like really simple. It makes any sense. Like I'm doing I'm doing a lot with these four perks. Um Eruption is really caring at the moment because basically we can just kick a gen. And by kicking the gen, um, at any point we can just lower the progress and then we can see the aura of the survivors so we know where to go. It's really good. Uh, Eruption got, like I said, I got nerfed before, but it's still a pretty good perk. The reason why I don't use it on Skarmerge very often 
is because when Summer the First came out and when Night came out, a rap was really good at its peak. Also, by the way, because we hooked them on a scorch hook, we can see the aura of all other survivors. So I'm glad to Ace, because I know Ace ran towards nothing. So I know that I can definitely down him. The only thing he has is his pallet. But I'm going to swing. And I luckily for me, I hit him. Because honestly, I didn't really care. I was going to swing anyway. Because you need to die. <laughs> That's the best option I got. And then for playing trimmers, we're going to block every single gen again. And which means basically, for the past, let's see. After, every, really, after they um, did the last gen they did, they have not been able to touch a single gen. And it shows you how strong Killing Tremors is, honestly, with Sword Merchant. And that's why I use it on a lot of my builds that I play with. This girl right here is going to run near me. I use my radar tracker. I know she's not going to go for the unhook because that will be really, really bad. But luckily for me, she gets stuck on the wall. So I get on her free down. And I'm pretty sure she's dead on hook. But I'll go back towards the hook. Cause I was, thought someone was going to try to unhook while I was here. And I was right, there's a um, girl right here. I know that Gabriel was gonna probably try to unhook, the, um, unhook Ace. I'm gonna try to swim right here and hit her, but because the Claw Trap is gone, I stopped myself from swinging. I'll put a drone up here, so I can try and get her exposed, but she's smart and she realizes that she um, shouldn't go over there. So I'm going to just hit her right here. I could've probably waited for her to go in the drone radius, but she's kinda like not even close to being exposed until right now, so I didn't do it. I know this pallet was down, so I broke it. Um, or at least a claw chart broke it. I don't know. Actually, I don't remember breaking that pallet and I think about it So I'm a little confused why it's broken, but it's fine. I'm gonna go to Ace again Because I know that Ace is dead on hook, I believe. So I was like, might as well down you And then I make sure that I kick this gen And then I see someone exposed and I'm like, who is that? And the only reason why I went up there is because I felt bad for oh, a little bit I felt bad for downing Ace again so I went up there to chase this girl. I know the people up here are oblivious. So there's a high chance they don't know where I'm coming from. Then the girl that stands still, I'm like, hmm. She either didn't realize I was coming because she's oblivious or she just gave up. I can't really tell. But because Gabriel is oblivious, I know for sure I need to try and kill him. But luckily for me, for some reason, Gabriel didn't realize I was going to go down the um, vault. And he goes inside this room where there's no dead end. And we have... Three people who are now gonna be on the ground. I love it. This build is so good. I love Scrum Merchant. Then, using the Tremors, we block every gen, and then again, for the past four, for the past like four minutes, they have not done anything. It's just the build is so good. First, my playstyle, where I actually chase survivors, is really good. I don't just uh, worry about gens only. But that brings me to that point about eruption. So, like I just said, I don't focus on gens when I'm playing Scrum Merchant. I might use gen perks, but I focus on chasing survivors and let my perks and, I, and my drones defend gens for me. That's why we have Eruption and we have Throwing Tremors. Throwing Tremors block the gens, Eruption makes gens go by faster. Um, the reason why I don't use Eruption when it first came out, oh, not when it first came out, but when I used Scrum Merchant was because everyone was using Eruption and Eruption was doing this thing where basically it would make you incapacitated and you couldn't really do much and every single killer was using Eruption, Colorbrine, Score Trick, Pain Resonance, different perks like that. This perks were basically you kick gens and are able to slow down the game really much, like really much, a lot, there we go. <laughs> English, you were able to slow down the game a lot and because you were able to slow down the game a lot, it was really, really unfun and the Score Merchant was already considered an unfun killer because the night was unfun and then they add a killer who was the same exact thing basically but worse. So as a result, I didn't want to be like every other score merchant, not really every other score merchant, because honestly I have no way to really know if every score merchant plays the same way, but I didn't want to be like other score merchants, so I just decided to not use that perk, but I use other perk combinations. Also, this person's really weird. I don't know why he decided to run inside my drone radius, but he's going to drop the pallet, but it's not going to matter because he's exposed, and I'm going to swing through it anyway. Even if he stunned me, he's still in a really bad spot. And again, the only Tremors activates, and the only gen they're worth on is the middle one, so I know that she has to be here because it gives you so much information what Throwing Tremors does. The only real problem with the perk, honestly, is the fact that it has a 60 second cooldown, but the 60 second cooldown is kind of warranted, honestly, even though I kind of wish it wasn't 60 seconds, but it's a long cooldown. So I'm going to wait for this girl to be exposed by my drone, like I always try and do when I'm at the end of the game. So I'm, I'm going to hit her, I'm just going to wait. But then, 
as time progresses, I realize it's kind of hard to expose you because you just are running. So I'm like, well, this sucks a lot, honestly. So I, as a result, I decided to just try and give up on it. And then I see her run back into it. So I'm like, wait, I can't give up yet. I have to try and expose her. So she's almost exposed. She's right at the like tip of it. So I get rid of the drone and I um try and put another drone down, try and expose her. I put the drone up, hoping she'll walk in the drone already, but she doesn't. So I'm like, you know what? Okay. So I put another drone so I can try and get her exposed. And then the hatch is right here. And I'm like, are you serious? Like, of course. And this is the reason why you don't try and play with your food as Storm Merchant. I should have just killed her, but I chose to try and expose her because I wanted to. But it was fine because honestly, this game was like the best game possible. I showed off the build insanely well. I showed off the reason why I like doing you why I like using certain perks and why I think the tournament is really good. But y'all thought I only had one game for y'all. Y'all are mistaken. I have two games. So let's get towards the second game so we can do this all over again, but even better. Okay, playing on Sheltered Woods. I love this map. Not because of the fact that it's Score Merchant's map, but because of the fact that I always love this map. And then they made it Score Merchant's map, so the map only got better. But this map is really, really good for Score Merchant because basically it's really small, and you know, small maps are good for killers like Score Merchant who can't traverse the map very fast. Also, there are some pretty good, well, the main building at least, or main area, has a pretty good drone location. I also had a pretty good basement, but the only problem is we didn't get the basement this time. So that kind of sucks for us. But other than that, it is fine. Now we're gonna. I look at my drone, and someone's already in the drone radius. But sadly for me, I'll just look to see exactly where they were. Cause got out, and he took my drone. So I'm going over here. I see Leon. So I'm gonna try and kill Leon because he's in the way. A generator gets completed immediately. There were two people on that gen. They probably had two boxes or something. So there's no way that that gen got completed that fast, considering how. There was only two people on it because Nicolas Cage got my drone and I'm chasing Leon, so yes. Also, I remember when I'm playing this game, this um girl Hex Throat Goat. Mm, this girl, she um is a Prestige 100. So I was mentally prepared to struggle. And as a result, I was gonna try and chase her honestly at the game first. Normally I try and deal with Prestige 100s first because I know they're the strongest person then she runs into me like that and i'm like okay maybe you're not the strongest person so i don't know but using the same build from last video literally we're gonna try to hook them with scorch hooks and use building trimmers to block all gens so at this point we look and every single generator is blocked besides the main building gen which i expected considering how nicholas cage took my drone so i know the main building gen is not protected but as a result we can kick this and now we have eruption on there, so all I have to do is down another survivor, and eruption will activate automatically. Um, comparing eruption to its, well, comparing um, eruption now to what it was before, it was definitely better before, but it is pretty good now. I see scratch marks, but I kind of ignore them because I know Leon's probably over here again, so I want to go after Leon. And as a result, look what I see, Leon, and that's why I love floods. Floods. <laughs> I love floods. No, I love um. Plus the rage, the hex, the hex, the scourge, hook, perk, because it's really good at showing information sometimes, even though it might happen by complete accident, it's just the fact that it even does that. So I was able to see where Leon was behind the wall for seven seconds. So when you hook him on a scourge hook, luckily for me, the scourge hook um, was able to, what's it called, get the gen right in front of us, so that gen lost progress, and I don't even have to worry about kicking it. Now the only, the only problem with it though is the fact that now that it lost progress, I can't kick it because I can't use eruption. But it's fine because honestly, 25% is much better than 8% or whatever. No, 10% that's what it does. So that's fine. But this girl is like, I want to go in the middle of nowhere. I'm like, sure. So I'm going to able to down her instantly. That was actually a really fast chase. So I'm going to try to hook on a score. Trick throwing German activates and block every gen. Again, love this perk. So I'm gonna hook on another score trick. I'm praying she doesn't have um, power struggle. She does not. Another person hooked. The only problem with the only problem is because we hooked the first people on Floods of Rage and we hooked the second one on Floods of Rage. Uh, we didn't see the aura of the survivors. But because someone's oblivious, I'm like, who is this? And now look at it's Leon. I'm like, you love doing gens. And that's why you gotta pay attention, because I only because I'm oblivious. Well, they're oblivious, so they don't know where I'm coming from, and I'm able to get a quick down. And Leon gets hooked again. And now you're going to second hook. I want to kick this gen. And activate myself an eruption so I can use it later on. And then I look and Flutter Rick activates. And now I know that someone's in the main building gen. 
I could have easily just um used my drone and figured out what they were. I know they're gonna run once they see me, so I'm gonna go up top and replace my drone because I know my drone is in a really good position where they have to go to the top floor to be automated. Then I'm gonna go towards this gen, thinking they're on this gen, kick this one. And basically, I love Eruption because you can kick so many gens and get so much value out of it. I just feel kind of, not only really feel bad, because honestly, I shouldn't feel bad. I missed, by the way, because I suck, I suck at the game. But I shouldn't really feel bad, but it's kind of annoying because sometimes, like, you'll use a perk or you'll play a certain way, and then survivors just, um, like, now I don't even say bully. I don't care about bullying or care about, like, really opinions. It's more like survivors will try and be like, oh my gosh, another killer using eruption. And of course, it's a score merchant. Like, ugh. that's such an annoying thing. Score merchant players are so bad. Blah, 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 blah. Jen, all they do is protect Jens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it is things like that. I'm like, why? So right there, I kicked that Jen and it had eruption on it, right? And then they proceed to all go on that Jen and quickly do it. So I didn't even get eruption value. You're probably wondering why didn't I chase Nicholas Cage right there? It's very simple. I was worried that if I chased him, I would, um, what's it called? If I chased him, that he would be like, okay, chase me over here where there's nothing except for pallets. And then because of that reason, I would end up chasing him and I would get in a really bad position where I'll be near no gens. But luckily for me, I think we've kicked, we literally kicked every single gen and we've injured two people. So now I want to be down Nicolas Cage or be down that girl. We are basically going to be able to um, activate our eruption on all these gens. You can kick a gen multiple times, by the way, that has eruption, and it won't do anything. It is like full regress, of course. The only gen we haven't kicked is the one that has no progress on it at all. So I'm really trying to down someone, but the problem is, like, they're all running away from gens. And I know that's the whole point. When you're playing in Scroll Merchant, you gotta be smart. You don't want to lead her towards gens, because even though I'm not trying to protect gens 100%, it is a really good idea to protect Jens if I can. So Leon, I can see his aura thanks to um what's it called? Flood of Rage. And then I gonna kill this Jin again. And then I learned that I don't think if the Jin the Jin is not high and yellow because Eruption has a 15 I'm at 30 second cooldown. Which is fine by me. But I'm gonna put this girl right here. And I'm not gonna remember the palette because that palette's not really the most safe palette in the world, so I can definitely use it for my advantage. And I'm going to activate these drones, and I can't get this gen yet because of my dueling tremors. It's a 16 second cooldown, even I can't interact with gens, so you know it's strong when, I, when the killer can't even use the gen. So my, I look and my drone gets touched immediately, so I know someone's over there. I'm assuming it's Leon, because I saw Leon run that way. But no, it was not Leon. And then randomly, I just look over here and there's just a random Nicholas Cage. I'm like, okay. He gonna vault this, pat, this window, but luckily for me, he was not close enough to be able to super, super zoom and vault that thing. So I'm going to hook him, and basically in the exact same game from before, we're in a really good position where we hook every single killer, I mean every single survivor, multiple times, and we know Leon's dead on hook, so we can hook him and get him out the game, that would be wonderful. So because of that reason, I look over here and Leon, lo and behold, is in the same spot he was before, and I'm about to kick this gen that I look and I realize this girl's right here, so I'm like, die. Now I'm going to go back and kick this gen, and I'm blinded, literally seeing the sun. But I don't care about that. I was afraid they were gonna try and do the gen after I end up um like getting blinded by it, but they didn't. Then Leon's back over here. I'm like, what are you doing? Like Leon, don't go on this gen. But Leon's gonna vault, we're gonna drop this pallet, and I'm like, please get exposed, please get exposed, please get exposed. And luckily for me, Leon for some reason's like, I'm not gonna go out the drone radius, no one is gonna expose me. I'm just going to sit there and get myself exposed, and now I can hook him, and he's dead on hook because I remember that we already hooked him twice. And I'm not going to hook him on a score trip because then I'll wait the score trip and the score trip will be gone. Thanks for throwing tremors. I can see that all I have to do is go to this gen. But I can't put a drone up yet because I'm too close towards the um, other drone and I'm too close towards the hook. Now that he's dead and I moved that drone, I can place that there. And I know that all these gens are regressing because of the eruption I had. But then I look and someone touching my drone. I'm like, who are you? And I look and it's Kate, Hex, Goat over there is touching my gen, so I, and I'm like, no, so it died, and now I'm going to chase it this time, because I realize she's in a really bad position, she's a claw trap on her, she can't vault a window, what, she can't vault pallets very fast, or the claw trap will automatically break the set pallet, and she just got that claw trap, so it's really fresh, I know she's going to drop it, 
But she's not gonna be able to vault the pallet, and I'm gonna actually be able to hit her before she can vault the pallet. But then I got scared, and that's why I didn't swing. But I learned from my mistakes in my last videos where I would swing immediately when a pal gets um dropped, knowing it's gonna break because of my desolation or because of my um claw trap. And I decided to be patient and I actually waited this time. So because I waited, I was able to down her right when she got off of the um pallet. And now we're able to go get a quick down. And I hooked her on a score trick too. So now when they unhook her, close the ridge activates and I can see where everyone else is. Go back over here. They have not touched. They touched this gen, but like because of eruption, we were able to actually get it pretty low, and it keeps it's staying low. And then touching this gen too. This is the reason why eruption so good, and I think I might be using it more in my videos. It's just really good. Like I know I see people use eruption. Like I see black players, nurse players use it, but that's because they can traverse the map so fast. Kicking a gen doesn't really stop them. Like doesn't really require that much time, but. For example, me, a uh, school merchant player, of course kicking a gen really requires a lot of time. So because of that reason, I don't want to use eruption. That and also the fact that like people who use oh, school merchant players trying to use eruption is really bad. This girl's like, I just trying to expose me and she's like, no. And I'm like, okay, fine, I understand. I'm sorry, forgive me. She realizes that I'm trying to expose her and she's like, oh yeah, no, I'm not gonna fall for that. Now luckily for me, I can down her before she can get towards this palace. And then because of all we, we kick all those gens, our rupture animates block every single gen that that besides the faraway one that I'm, I know they're working on. Hook this girl. Dead on hook, by the way. Love this build. And then we're gonna go towards the gen that they're working on. But sadly, they are able to do the gen. I kinda wish it incapacitated you for like two seconds. <laughs> Not even two, like four, three seconds. That way I can just pick up a survivor and then throw in trimmer animates and they can't do the gen. But honestly, that would be really strong, and I wonder if people were doing that before. But it doesn't really matter, because honestly, the way the, work, the perk works now is already good enough for me. This guy's gonna vault this window. This window is really strong, actually, if you have balanced landing. But if you don't have balanced landing, this window's kinda eh. The reason why the window's kinda strong, and there's not really much counterplay to it as killer, you kinda have to just accept the fact that this window exists. So luckily for me, I'm gonna chase him now, cause I know he has a claw trap on him, but for some reason, but then the claw trap goes away and I'm like, oh. Well, this chase sucks. So now, I have to try and chase this boy in the, um, uh, shack, knowing he has a claw, the claw trap's gone. And I have to try and mind game the shack, which I can't really do. And because I don't have, um, because I do not have the perk, I mean the add-on, uh, running my strokes, I can't slow him down. My luckily for me, though, I don't know why he did this, but for some reason, he decided to um, drop the window, I mean the pallet, and not and go around. And because of Bloodlust, I'm able to catch up to him. And that's why I love Bloodlust, because honestly, I can loop, I can basically be in a really, really bad position and try to use it to my advantage. And the only way this forever can um, beat it is they have to, they purposely have to like leave the loop or try and lose the chase. But most of the times, forever is like this continuously looping the same loop and it was working. So, They'll just keep doing it. But if you're a smart killer, you can use Bloodlust to your advantage. I don't recommend just using Bloodlust only to win chases. That will not work out very well. But I do recommend trying to use Bloodlust if you can to do your best in a chase because honestly, it works out pretty well. So, boom. Then we have to kill Hex Throat Goat because this Proceed 100 is doing too much. She's trying to do gins against the Skull Merchant, and we all know that you can't do gins versus Skull Merchant because Skull Merchant is top tier, best kill in the game. 3 Gen King, 3 Gen Queen, Chess Merchant, you can't beat it, Broken Killer, so because of that reason, I have to kill her on this hook, and as a result, the game is over. As a result, Scar Merchant always beats Hex Throat Goat, <laughs> that's such a weird name, but as a result, we win, and we kill everyone, because this build is actually really good, and I recommend y'all use it. Also, if you have any requests, please let me know in the comments, someone in my last video, um, said do I have any do I take requests? The answer is yes. I actually have a video on my channel where I took a request from someone. Literally it was Swansy, the same person who recommended me use this godlike skin that the scroll merchant has right now. He requested a build and I definitely use that build because I wanted to try and use it. He made me he let me use iridescent published manuscript so I could use that add-on and it worked out pretty well actually and I'm probably gonna use the use the add-on again and make another video of it. But if you enjoyed the video 
make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I love reading y'all's comments. Please let me know if I talk a little slower, by the way, in the video, because I try my best. But, you know, I talk real fast. I'm sorry. Like I said, have any requests, let me know in the comments. Want me to use a different killer? I'll think about it. Just let me know in the comments. I will respond to y'all's comments. But that's all for me today. I'll see y'all in the next video. Have a nice day.